And we've been talking about movie stars, but I want to now bring your attention to a controversial film. Cinema chains have been accused of bowing to extremists for pulling mm. a film about the Prophet Muhammad's daughter. Demonstrators picketed Cineworld and showcased screens across Britain following the release of The Lady of Heaven. Protesters claim the film is blasphemous, spreads false information about Islam and disrespects the Prophet. An online petition demanding it to be removed from cinemas has topped 120,000 signatures. A London imam told Talk TV the film could inflame divisions. I don't think it's a modern portrayal of freedom. I don't think it's a portrayal of Islam in its history. It's just a twisted version of a person's own narrative, and that's the problem. There is racism in that film. There is sectarianism in that film. And at a time when we're trying to create harmony in our country, unity amongst ourselves, we don't need a film like that. But Health Secretary Sajid Javid said the film's cancellation is worrying. I'm very concerned about the growing cancer culture in, in this country. You know, there's people out there who think they have a right not to be offended. And, and of course, no one has that right. You might not like what someone's got to say, but they've got a right to say it. And we don't have blasphemy laws in this country. I think that would be an incredibly dangerous road uh, to go down. What we have in this country is freedom of speech and expression, and, and that is a fundamental value. So, is cancelling the film a sensible decision or defeat for free speech? Now, I don't think the, ban the film should be banned at all. I'll be honest with that. Um, I have Muslim friends, more importantly, I have Muslim family. Nowhere in the Quran does it state that, or does it forbid images of the prophets um, to, to be displayed for Muslims. There are um, additional teachings, they call them hadiths, which explicitly say, actually, um, no, no, no visual depictions of, of the prophet. Um, or any prophet, for that matter. But I, I'm, I, I do not want this country to become... Uh, to, to beckon to an angry mob. Every time that someone is offended or someone feels that something is um, against them, I don't think it's healthy for us as a country to, to then say, especially when it comes to the arts and free speech, to say, no, actually, um, we're, we're going we're gonna to bow to what, to what you guys have said. And on, on, the, on the fact that uh, the, the, the reports that I've read and the, the footage I've seen of Muslims at, outside the cinemas protesting and reports of them threatening um, the staff who work in, in, in Sydney World and Showcase. That's not the behaviour of, of Muslims that I know. That's not the behaviour of anyone that I know who's a true follower, follower of Islam. It's a, it's a religion of peace. My uncle Salim used to take me to mosque all the time as a child. My cousins are Muslim. They are peaceful people. Mm -hmm. They would not be outside those cinemas intimidating staff who are just there doing their job. I think this is a complete own goal. Um, and actually, I'd not even heard about this film before the protests, and now I'm interested, and actually now I do want to go and see the film. So mm. for, for the protesters, all they've done is give this film mm. more attention. Don't you think um, that... Did you remember The uh, the Passion of the Christ? Of the Christ. Yes, I've seen it. Yeah, and great film. That's way... 2004, I think. I was looking back at that just as a parallel to this. And what the producers of that film did so cleverly is that they absolutely predicted that there would be a load of outrage about it and they squared everybody off beforehand. So they actively got the churches involved, they even got the Pope involved, they got all the different interest groups on board, said, look, what do you think of this? Here's why we're doing it. This is the reason why this is a, uh, you know, whatever, it's a piece of entertainment, very powerful. And, you know, that film did phenomenally well. It was an it amazing success. And I think that the, those behind uh, this film that has now been cancelled really screwed up, didn't they? In th Because they could have managed it differently and they would have had an amazing success mm. on their the hands, thing, maybe. The thing is, I think anybody that makes a movie on religion is taking a huge risk because you're 100%. always going to get extremists yeah. in that religion that totally, you know, deplore what what you're depicting mm. in the movie. Mm. You can never win with a movie I like that. Even, even if, if, if people remember Sir Lou Grade, later Lord yes. Grade's Jesus of yes. Nazareth, yeah. starring Robert Powell. I mean, to most people, that's like the most adorable Bible story depicted in the most charming, it's almost Disney, it's so gorgeous. Yeah. Who could not love Robert Powell? It was hugely controversial at the time. Mm, yeah. People thought it was a disgrace and enormously defamatory. Now it looks like something you'd show to a three-year-old well, and everyone would adore. Well, exactly. So, you know, it, it takes coverage though you may say they, they misplayed it but you might say how brave how courageous how crusading to have a story to want to turn it into a movie into you know, to follow the truth.
But I think, that, I think there are two really important things here which are going on. First of all, if anybody thinks that um, harmony is going to be created with censorship, and JJ, I agree with you, I think you're spot on there, because I think, in fact, you've created a divide between that community that's cross about it. Tell us that you're cross, the protest's fine, but don't be aggressive about it. Mm -hmm. Raise awareness so that we can learn the story, so that we can learn more, as opposed to saying, well, censorship is the answer, because it isn't. Um, look, going back in time, Life of Brian, huge, you know, loads of people who had never even seen that particular movie, they all, you know, you know, and of course now it's one of the fantastic greats, it's brilliant, you know, <laughs> Brian and all that, you know, it's brilliant, it's absolutely fantastic. And people, you know, do like a bit of lampooning, but just because 120,000 people have signed uh, a petition, I mean, it's now getting national coverage, everybody's excited about it, they, as you say, they're all going to go so and see it. So maybe it's a double bluff, maybe this is a very sophisticated <laughs> PR operation and it was uh, all planned, I, I don't really know. don't think it is, because if you, if you listen to the people who have been speaking out against it and saying, you know, this is a disgrace and this is terrible and the campaign and all that stuff, I think what you begin to realise is that we've, if we've, we've, got a, we've got a problem with how you object to something that you find either offensive or that you don't like or that you don't want and that you think by almost shutting it down. And I also criticise, by the way, the cinemas for being lily-livered yeah. and saying, oh, no, no, we, we don't want to offend anybody, we're going to, you know, we're going to, we, we, we'll take them down now. No! Stand up for your principles and free speech. Yeah. I don't want to go to a city world anymore. <laughs> oh, take a breather, James. Now